Good morning, good afternoon, good night. I'm Black Bright and I'm broadcasting out of the east of England around the world and I just wanted to let you know of a new situation and that is why I'm calling this um, video Overstayers, it's too late to turn back the clock. But there's a student, she'd been here for 10 years. Um, in the seventh year, she married a British citizen. Anyway, the relationship didn't work out. I don't know if she told the Home Office or not, but it didn't work out. Anyway, in her 10th year, she decided to apply for indefinite leave to remain. So while that application was going through, she did it through her solicitor. And while this application was going through, the um, solicitor had paid the £500 immigration health surcharge. So she now, for some reason, needs to find a new place to live. So she goes, she sees a room or a flat and she goes to the estate agent and the estate agent, they're of course obliged to tell the home office and get the person checked to make sure they're legit. Now, as far as this woman was concerned, this student, she, she assumed she was legit. So she, the, the estate agent, they asked the home office if they had, if she had a right to rent. The home office write, writes back to the estate agent and says, no, she doesn't have a right to rent. So, and it had to do with when she made the application, they asked for the, the spouse's passport. And she didn't send it to them because they'd broken up. So she didn't obviously didn't tell them that she they'd broken up. So then the spouse wouldn't give her the, pa the passport to send off, which goes without saying. So she was denied. So and also the health sur surcharge that came out of the um, solicitor's bank account went into her bank account. And now, apparently, I'm just going to do a separate video on this, a very, very short video. Apparently, even your biometric cards, they're not allowed to go through solicitors anymore. They're going direct to the client. So if you haven't given your correct address, you're not going to get that biometric card. They need to know that you are where you say you are. So solicitors are not allowed to... Um, do that anymore. So where, whereas people, I mean, overstairs were a bit worried about the home office coming and finding them. So therefore doing things, things through their solicitor, they won't be able to do that part anymore. The biometric card is not going to the solicitor anymore. And the money is going to be funded into your account. So they know that you've actually received it and that account exists. So I just thought I would tell you short and sweet that you know it's there's no way to turn back the clock if you're trying to resolve your situation they're going to find every which way because it just imagine if you got your stay because you were married and you now divorced and you're separated or whatever and you are not in good relationships with that person and you now want to extend your stay and they're asking you for that individual's passport. You'd have to be very, very, very close for that individual to give you the passport so you can send it off to the home office. So they've got you. They have got you. Hook, line and sinker. I'm just putting it out there, guys. Bye bye.